Hey everybody, Jonathan Rose, owner, Masters in Trading. Let's talk about how to trade a very high volatile environment. And I don't trade just like this during high volatile times. I'm really always trading like this, but when the markets really start to move, that's when the getting's good. That's when we wanna go after it. So in front of you, oil against S&P. I also have oil against S&P here. Oil against S&P on thinkorswim, you could just do one minus the other, and here's the chart. But on thinkorswim, this price, it's just the S&P futures minus the price of oil. So S&P futures right now are 27.58 minus whatever, 35 or so for oil, and that's why it's trading 27.24. This number doesn't really mean anything. If I take you to two a proprietary tool that we have at Masters in Trading. And this is part of the Edge series. Now we're looking at the same spread, right? It's still one oil contract minus one S&P futures. Here's what the chart looks for the month. Negative 3,340. If you put on the spread at the beginning of the month, right now you would be down about $3,000. If you shorted the spread, you'd be up $3,000. The reason we look at things this way is because P&L is all that really matters. So how do we trade a high volatile time? For one, you wanna be active. But the other thing is wait on the edges. Look at this trade. Look at the back and forth. Now, when it trades lower, oil, is inexpensive relative to S&Ps. Now, you don't have to do this trade, but maybe you determine here that because oil is inexpensive relative to S&Ps, you might decide, oh, I better protect my IRA, I better buy some puts in something because I can see a relative relationship. Some people might use this and say, you know what? Look at the back and forth. It's between eight grand and about negative 1,000. So it's like $7,000 that are just flipping back and forth over the month. There are traders who like to be active trading that way. But you don't only have to do spread. What I teach and what I want you to do is look deeper. So if we look at CL minus ES, you could trade it back and forth. You can use it as a, as a tool, as an indicator to give you signs on whether to buy oil or to sell S&Ps. My personal favorite way to use it is to use it relative to other spreads. So we have the oil S&P is the green. Look how expensive gold relative to silver has got. And now I've taken it back to the beginning of the year. This tool will allow you to put any spreads you want. This is all about the metals complex. This actually tool is metals edge. But if you wanna look at gold relative to oil, gold relative to platinum or palladium, the euro, the dollar, the bonds, silver and crude, copper, you name it. Okay, apply, okay. And there you go. Here's our original spread. This is gonna be the oil against the S&Ps. I also added the light blue is gonna be gold against silver. This is gonna be silver against oil. Gold against oil, right? This is pretty obvious. Gold against oil, gold 1600-ish and oil's trading 35. I'm not really dying to do that spread. If I did that spread, it would need to be relative to something else, but still, I'm not dying to do that spread just because it's a, this is a global trap, right? So if the virus gets worse, this, the mean reversion aspect of it, it's gonna break down because if the virus gets worse, oil will continue going lower, gold will continue going higher. So this spread would need the virus to really improve but I would rather look at other clo more closely related relationships. So let's take off that gold against oil again. 
go to the tool here, it's so freaking simple. Then we find gold versus oil. And there you go. So again, what do we have? So oil S&Ps right now, you can see, is inexpensive relative to these two. But what I like to do is keep these charts up. Wait for that pullback. Like this green spread, you don't want to be buying it now, even though relative to this, you want to be buying it down here. You want to be buying it when it's already kind of set in a base or it's working its way down. You don't want to chase. When you're trading spreads, you really want to stay away from chasing a spread, buying a spread as it's going up like you might do with like a momentum play in stock. So for this, if this pulls back here, that might be a really great opportunity to put on either a trade that's just buying oil and selling S&Ps or buying oil, selling S&Ps, and you might consider selling gold and buying silver. This is selling silver and buying oil. So lots you can do. Always look at the market relative to one another. When the market gets busy, it will really protect you. It'll keep you out of trouble. Hope it helps. My name is Jonathan Rose. I'm the owner of Masters in Trading.